with with any 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 rev that you can get with the teammate, if it's uh, pre-game or it's yeah. tomorrow practice or it's post-practice, I, I think that's always great. And you get the timing, you you learn how to read their body language and and how their body kind of twitch before making a play. Yeah. Um, all the things are you know the the more you can add to it and the more you can uh, get going, the better. Um, what like. With run a lot of it's like pick and roll stuff, or you know, again, not at full speed. But what can you know? He says he sort of wants to know where you like it, the pot, like the ball, where the pocket you need it. What are you looking from him, like the passing angles? Get him uh, open, get him open yeah. and and and, uh, and create some space and allow him to make that read. If yeah. it's uh, him finishing, if it's him making that pocket pass, if it's yeah. him um, taking the extra dribble and dragging the big, um, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, you know, it's, it's pretty simple, um, but you got to work at it. Yeah. Did that, did that third quarter? I was working. Yeah, go ahead. Gas. <laughs> did that third quarter feel like uh, you know you could you could build on that? Defensively, for sure. I, I think that once we got a little tougher and and we decided to uh, really commit uh, and and t take away the pain. Uh, you know that 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 separated you know and, and set the tone a lot higher for us um and and that creates trust uh, to be honest uh, once you know you you see a, a team like that that likes to attack and uh, with certain players and uh and and, and you communicate into the guy that has the ball and uh and they see you helping them that creates trust uh so you know it goes a long way is that, is that almost a decision you guys had to make i mean because you could have played stayed in a track meet with them all night right and, and, and they were happy to do that i'm right. sure yeah so but, did, coming out of halftime i was like you know what let's assert ourselves let's let's get something and... yeah we knew offensively we were going to get um, the shot that we were looking for um you know not easy but but you're going to get the shot that you want um if you if you are disciplined enough and uh, and, and saying good screens the thing was like okay now you gotta stop them uh, and, uh, and and finish in possession with rebound. We got a lot of uh, deflections I think in the first half, but we didn't come out with the ball. Um, so second half I thought that we did a much better job um, coming out of the, the locker room and uh, and finally we made some shots and got away from them. You only have one assist over the last two games. That's obviously very different for you, but are you still happy with the way the offense is going around? Yes, yes. And, uh, used to and, and it's fine. Like it's, it's not about me getting assist or anything like that. It's about you know guys finding the rhythm and, and getting used to um, playing with one another. I'm, I'm not someone that, uh, that needs numbers um, you know, to give me confidence. It's, to me, it's, if the ball goes through your hands and you make the pass and he makes an extra pass and we get a good shot and in and out, like that's all you want from your offense. Yeah, that's all that matters to me is getting good shots and getting stops. Um, you know, I got good looks at the first half. Um, those streets were a little short, but uh, but you know, I'm getting my rhythm in the post. Um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good.